2, Session 3. Session 3 will cover the following content. Learning Outcome 2.2.2b. Obtain the equation of inverse functions given a sketch. Learning Outcome 2.2.2b. Obtain the equation of inverse graphs from a sketch. Finding the equation of a graph is a real problem area for students. We are going to have a look at the basic steps for finding the equation of a graph for the three functions we are dealing with at level 4. These are y equals ax plus q, straight line graph, or y equals mx plus c, y equals ax squared, basic parabola, y equals a to the power of x, where a is greater than 0, exponential graph. When we look at graphs, sometimes the examiner or you, the problem that has been posed to you will give you a graph. Remember to use the formula, the original formula, and you will then you use for uh, you, you are looking for a point on the graph that you can use to substitute into that formula to get your answer. So you will be looking at the graph and find um, information from the graph that you can use. So I would say make sure that you do understand, try and interpret the graph before you start with the problem itself. We will look at four ways in which students could be expected to find the equation of straight line graphs. By level four, students should be very familiar with all four cases. Case one, students are given the value of the gradient and the y-intercept. In this case, we substitute the gradient for m and the y-intercept for c. Let's take a look at an example. Here, we have been given a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of 1. We substitute into the formula for a straight line y equals mx plus c, and we find our equation to be y equals x plus 1. Let's look at case 2. Students are given two points on the line. Here, we can use the formula y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 to find our gradient m. Next, we substitute our calculated value for m into the formula y equals mx plus c. Then we choose either one of the points to substitute the x and y coordinates in the equation to solve for c. Lastly, we substitute our calculated c value into the equation. Let's have a look at an example. Using the point 1 and 1 as x1 and y1, and the point negative 2 and 3 as x2 and y2, we substitute these coordinates into our gradient formula and find m equals negative 2 divided by 3. Next, we substitute this value for m into the formula for the equation of a straight line y equals mx plus c. Let's call this equation 1. We choose a point to substitute into this equation. Here, we use the point 1 and 1 and solve for c. We get c equals 5 divided by 3. Substituting c into our equation 1 above, and we end up with the equation for the straight line y equals negative 2 divided by 3x plus 5 divided by 3. Let's look at case 3. Students are given the gradient and one other point on the line. We substitute the gradient for m, and then substitute the given point to solve for c, and insert c to find the final equation. Similarly, for case 4, when given the y-intercept and another point on the line, we substitute the y-intercept for c, and then substitute in our other point and solve for m. Insert m to find the final equation. Finding the equation of a parabola in the form y equals ax squared. Students will always be given at least one point on the parabola for this type of question. First, substitute this point into the standard form of the equation y equals ax squared. Solve for a and substitute the a value into the equation. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have been given the point negative 2 and negative 4. We start with our equation y equals ax squared and substitute the point negative 2 and negative 4. 
We solve for a and find that a is equal to negative 1. Substituting negative 1 into our equation y equals ax squared, we find the equation for this parabola is y equals negative x squared. Now, let's look at how to find the equation of an exponential function in the form y equals a to the power of x. With this type of question, students will also always be given one point on the graph to work with. Substitute the coordinates of the point into the standard form y equals a to the power of x. Solve for a, and finally, substitute your value for a back into the standard form to get your equation. Looking at an example, here we are given an exponential function with the point 2 and 9 marked on the graph. Substitute this point into the standard form y equals a to the power of x. We solve for a and find it is equal to 3. Substituting back into our standard form, we find the equation of the exponential function is y equals 3 to the power of x. Work with a partner to do this activity where you will need to find the equations of the graphs and their inverses. Explain each step as if you are explaining to a student. Discuss any problems you experience teaching this section. Here is a video of a lecturer working through the problem. Right, so in the next question, uh, we need to, to determine the equation of the f uh, inverse of the function and the function itself. Right, looking at that, remember, remember very important is that we're using the standard equation for the parabola, which will be y is equal to a x to the exponential power of 2. Okay, very important to remember that. So, let's look at finding the equation. Let's start with the first, the first one, which will be our, with the graph that we have, the inverse function, the inverse function that we have. So if you look at that, let's just take a point from the graph itself, which will be uh, x is 1 and y is 2. We are going to take that points, uh, the, the, those coordinates, and we're going to substitute it into the f uh, formula for the parabola itself. Okay, so we have y is equal to a x squared and then our y value will be 2 and our x value will be 1. That will give us 2 is equal to, right, it's, it will be 1, it will be a. So we have the a value. So we have y, y is equal to uh, the 2x squared and that will be our equation for the inverse mm -hmm. function okay we will have the equation now let's go to let's go to the next question which will be finding the function itself and the function itself y is equal to a x squared. Now remember what we said, we're going to change the x values and the y values. So we already have the function here which is y is equal to 2x to the exponential power of 2. Let's change the values so this will become x is equal to 2y squared. With that, we want to get rid of the coefficient and the Exponential value, that will give us x over 2 is equal to uh, y squared and put both under the square root sign. So I will have this x over 2 is equal to y and this time we plus minus the square root of x over 2 equals to y. We have the equation of the function 
and here we have the equation of the inverse function. Okay, so in the next que question, the figure below represent an inverse function. So if you look at the, the graph itself, it represents a inverse function. Determine the equation of the inverse function and the function itself. Once again, this represents the inverse function. So we're going to look, uh, try and find the inverse function first. So remember what is the um, uh, formula for the uh, exponential equation? It will be y is equal to a to the exponential power of x. Using that, we will use a point on the graph that was given to us. And if you look at this point right there, we can use that point where x right is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 4. Let's use those two points. Okay? Right. Now using this, the, the exponential formula, so we can say, okay, y will be 4. We have y is equal to 4. And we have our a and the x will be equal to negative 2. Now, immediately, what do we notice here? We have a negative, uh, a negative exponent, and we're going to we are going to use the exponential rules. You still remember that to to solve this further. So we have four is equal to, and that will be one over a uh, two. Right, the negative disappear. Right, if we equate this further. Right, this will then become, we want to get rid of the, the, the fraction, the fraction itself, so it will be, we will have uh, 1 over 4 is equal to a uh, 2. Right, okay, once, once again, we still have a exponent and we want to get rid of the exponent, we put both of them under the square root sign and this will give us a half is equal to a. Now let's continue, let's put it back. So y will be equal to the value of a is a half and it will be the exponential value of x and that will give us the, uh, the function, the inverse function itself. Okay. Right, and then they ask us to do the function as well. Okay, we do have the inverse. So if we have the, we have the inverse, just, let's just write it down again here. We have y is equal to a half to the exponential value of x. Right, once again, change the x and the y values. So what do we have here? If we, we change the, the x and the y values, it will be x is equal to a half and that will be y. Right, because we do not en do any logarithms in uh, level 4, we will leave our answer just like that. This brings us to the end of subject outcome 2.2, inverse functions. Thank you for joining us.